In this episode, I'm going to diverge a bit from talking about Utah dialect and talk about Utah demographics instead. Now, everyone likes to compare. Sports fans check the news to see the current ranking of their favorite team. And when students receive their exam scores, the first thing they want to know is the class average so they can judge how they did compared to the other students. Let's continue that tradition and look at how Utah ranks in comparison to other states on a number of different measures. Of course, what is truly interesting isn't when Utah falls somewhere in the middle of the other states, but cases where Utah excels or falls flat on its face in comparison to other states. So that's the focus of this episode. Of course, all the rankings are up for debate and are highly dependent on the criteria they use. The great majority of ratings I discuss come from sources in 2021 and 2020. Overall, Utah is ranked as the third best state to live in. Financially, Utah is the cream of the crop. It has the best economy of any state, the highest growth in its domestic product, and is number five in terms of its fiscal stability as well as its infrastructure. Along with these financial attainments, Utah has the second lowest poverty level in the country. And Utah is also the second most Republican state, second only to Wyoming. Utah is also a very white state taking sixth place on ethnic diversity in the country. Utahns comprise the youngest population in the country, a fact that's partially responsible for Utah having the highest birth rate in the country as well and for coming in second place as a great state to raise a family in. Utah's young population may have a hand in making it the number three best state for those who belong to the millennial generation as well. And in spite of its young population, Utah ranks fifth in the nation for the low number of at-risk youth and dead last in the number of births to unmarried women. But Utah's not just a great state for the younger generation either. It comes in as the fourth best state to retire in as well. One way of gauging the character of Utah is that it comes in as the third friendliest state whose residents donate more of their time and money to charity than any other earning it the title of the least selfish state. On the other hand, it has also attained the title of the second most boring state, a ranking based on the idea that people in low-density states where there are more married households and more children per family are obviously boring. That particular survey didn't consider the fact that Utah is the best state for outdoor recreation activities, Utah even tops the charts on indoor activities as well, at least as gauged as the percent of adults who participate in performing in creative arts. In a similar vein, Utah took second place in adults who attend performing arts events and ninth in adults who visited art exhibits. Is it any wonder that there's usually a Utah competing in televised competitions such as Dancing with the Stars and America's Got Talent? Utah's boring stereotype more likely derives from its dead last place rankings on tobacco and alcohol consumption and its old liquor laws. The fact that Utah takes the top spot for nerdiest state is based on how obsessed Utahns are with things like Star Trek, Dungeons and Dragons, Harry Potter, etc., which may contribute to this as well. The population of Utah is booming, making it the number four fastest growing state. Much of this is due to Utah's business climate, where it comes in number one in job growth and unemployment, making it the best state for entrepreneurs, and the second best state to start a business in, and the third best state for business. All of this growth is positive in some regards. For instance, Utah ranks as the fourth best state to be a homeowner in, but if you don't happen to own a home, you'll find yourself in the eighth most expensive rent market in the country. Now, the majority of Utah's population is found in the valleys of the Wasatch Mountains, which form a pollution-trapping bowl, giving Utah the worst air quality in the nation, as well as the number 47 ranking in good natural environment. Is Utah full of gullible people falling prey to scams? Well, it actually takes the seventh spot on the list of states with the least amount of fraud and scams, while at the same time, being the number three state with the most corruption convictions. But what about those Utah drivers? Well, they claim the number 10 spot for worst drivers in one study and the number six in another. Utahns also rank fifth for the number of traffic tickets and accidents, 
not too far behind California number four. Salt Lake City earns the number eight slot in cities with the worst drivers in America. One survey ranks Utah as the eighth most rude state, partially based on Utah driving habits as well as on poor tipping, among other things. One area where Utah really scrapes the bottom of the barrel is in measures of women's issues. For example, Utah takes last place in states with best gender equality and women's rights. It also takes 49th place as a good state for working moms and 40th place in the number of women involved in politics. So how healthy are Utahns? Well, in broad terms, Utah has been ranked the fifth healthiest state and as the state with the fourth best quality of life based on health. Much of this can be attributed to its last place standings of the areas of childhood obesity, tobacco use, and alcohol consumption, and its 45th place ranking for sexually transmitted diseases. Perhaps this is why Utah can get away with having the second fewest number of doctors per capita and taking 45th place as being a good state to be a nurse in. The overabundance of dentists, yeah, fourth place on the other hand, is perplexing. Maybe they're there to take care of all the decaying teeth. Yep, Utah not only tops the charts on candy consumption, but Utahns eat twice the national average. They are also the nation's most avid jello eaters. In spite of all the junk food, Utahns rank very low on many diseases such as lung disease, liver disease, coronary artery disease, and overall cancer. However, all that high altitude outdoor activity has the unfortunate consequence of making Utah the country's hot spot for skin cancer. Utah also holds the number three slot for both thyroid cancer and autism and is a state with the highest rate of Parkinson's disease in the country. What about well-being? On the one hand, Utahns rank high on measures of well-being. For example, Utah comes in the top slot as the happiest state as well as on having the best balance between work and life. In a similar manner, it occupies the number five position for overall well-being, a measure that includes social, financial, and physical components. On a ranking of how stressed out people are in each state, Utah comes in at number 49. Given this rosy picture of ratings, there are two contrasting statistics. Utah's number five for the most mental illness and number six for suicide, Utah falls in the middle of the suicide belt in the U.S., which is comprised of the high elevation areas found in Alaska and the Rocky Mountains. So what's the situation with education in Utah? Well, it's a well-known fact that Utah spends less on education than any other state and has the 43rd lowest teacher salaries. Paradoxically, one ranking placed Utah in the number two position as a state that is good to be a teacher in based on preparation, tenure policies, and growth potential. Now you'd think that those low expenditures would result in poor outcomes, but you'd be wrong. Among the states that require 100% participation in the ACT test, Utahns rank first. Utahns are also the sixth most educated Americans. And higher education is affordable in Utah, which has the third lowest tuition. And Utah college students rack up the least amount of debt upon graduating. Now two Utah universities appear in the list of universities with best return on investment. That's Utah Valley University at number three and Brigham Young University takes the sixth place. How about universities that crank out business ideas? Once again, two universities make that top 10 list. Brigham Young University is number seven and the University of Utah number 10. On another measure, Logan, the home of Utah State University, earns a number 33 slot as being a great college town. Now both Brigham Young University and the University of Utah make the top 100 U.S. colleges list, placing 79th and 99th respectively. How are Utah cities rated? Given the fast growth rate in the state, it isn't surprising that some cities are among the fastest growing in the United States. Harriman takes the number one spot, Saratoga Springs is the 8th, and Eagle Mountain the 10th. Based on factors such as job growth, number of technology industries, gross domestic product, etc., Provo takes the number one position in the U.S. for a large city, Salt Lake's number four, and Ogden Clearfield number nine. While in the small cities category, Logan is number two, 
St. George number four. Salt Lake City earned the highest spot as the best city for job seekers. As far as being great places to live, Provo took an unordered spot in the top 10 list and was rated the 25th best city to live in in the U.S. in another ranking, while Salt Lake came in one slot higher as the 24th best city to live in. Sandy, Utah garnered the 43rd spot in cities with best quality of life. And it's not just the larger cities that have been ranked either. A number of Utah towns make the list of best small cities in America as well. Saratoga Springs, Kaysville, Harriman, Syracuse, and Bountiful. So there you have it, a demographic tour of the Beehive State. 